Pur namaste, pur namaste. Everybody love now. Everybody welcome. Welcome to the art of the world that I am. We gonna dive deep once again. Very deep. Welcome. I appreciate you. I love you. Everybody come. Let us speak about something. I am here one with flowers, one with nature, one with the town, even one with the church, one with uh, everything. No ego. One with my heart. There's a church there up. I'm one with the church also, also I don't agree with any practices. And I'm one with that pub there. Also I don't agree with any practices there. No ego. False ego. False identification. Everybody is speaking about false identification, false ego. You are so selfish. You look only about yourself. You see only yourself. You want to be better than everybody else. You are putting everybody down. You are against everyone and you are the best and everyone is not. And that's the false ego, false identity separating yourself from everybody else, seeing everybody else as an enemy, as a rival, as a competition, to beat, to compete, to take down, and to elevate yourself up. That's the false ego that we so much love to speak about and point out at people. Me too, I'm a teacher. If I point out, I point out for the greater teaching for that soul to get free. I'm not judging that soul. I'm just pointing out if that energy comes to me, projected at me. I'm just address addressing the energies that are not in alignment so they can heal. I love them. But we will not speak about personal false ego, false identification, serving only yourself, seeing only yourself. Hmm. I have divine ego, divine identity, like every saint has divine identity. I do what I like, I'm in my own power, I'm full of my power, but I empower you, I give you the word. Everything I do is for you, giving you the word that I am, so you will be greater than I am. That's divine ego. I don't want to take you down, I don't want to be above you. I want you to get free as I am, free of karma, free of attachments. Free of everything that is not love and want you to be greater than I am. But we will not speak about that. I want to speak about something else, actually, beloved angels. You know what I want to speak about? About collective false ego. What is collective false ego? Hmm. In collective false ego, individuals who become the part of the collective false ego, they think they have no ego. They have... No false identity. Now they are living for the group, for the collective, for the sect, for political party, for subculture that they are part in. Collective ego. Religion is a collective ego, you know. It's a collective false identity. We are better than everybody else. Only we get saved. Only those who are the part of our collective false identity, collective ego, get saved. And everybody else is not part of us. And some even go so far, they say everybody else is going to hell. And they don't even see their ego. Jesus Christ had no such ego, Krishna had no such ego, and I've been part of Christianity, I've been part of the sect of Hare Krishna, and they both, they both, they both have this collective ego. Only those who are in our church, in our collective, get saved. Only we have the truth, and everybody else has the lies, new age bullshit, religious bullshit, everything. Christians say everything outside of Christianity is bullshit, especially Catholic Church is against God, it's against Jesus. And Hare Krishnas, they say all the new age philosophy, all ascension, all other religions, everything is 
not truth. So the false collective ego is the group that says we are the one and only truth, we separate ourselves from everyone else, we have the truth and whoever is the part of us can get the truth, everybody else is living lies. And they go even so far, especially in Hare Krishna, everybody outside is your enemy. You should not even speak to them, you will get contaminated, you should take a shower with holy water. And they preach like this, if you speak with a person who is not part of Hare Krishna movement, <laughs> you have to take a bath and you have to be very careful that you do not associate with such people. Regardless, they have very strict rule. Everybody is bad, even every spiritual master, every awakened soul, everybody who is not in the part of their collective ego, of their religion. So this is a religious collective ego. And we have, we are the only one truth, is the collective ego. Everyone outside of us is lie. The entire universe is a lie. We are only ones to be saved. Everybody else damned themselves with the false truth, they say. Only our religion, only our collective false ego is the way of salvation, the way of the truth. I see this collective ego sometimes when I play a flute, because there I know many Hare Krishna boys, and sometimes I see collective ego coming out like anything. This is the truth. This is our, this is not. I told him, this is your truth, my friend. No, this is the truth of all truth. It's not my truth. Truth is truth. Do you know the truth? No. No, I don't know. I'm practicing. I want to know myself. Okay. So you are in collective ego. You believe and think that your religion, your sect, is the only way to salvation. And then they get very angry. When somebody says, like I said, truth is multidimensional and presented in so many levels. I love Krishna, I love Buddha, I love Jesus, I love New Age, I love everybody. He got so upset. <laughs> Don't tell me that we all are right. Only my sect is right. Only my truth is right. Only my religion is right. Only my false collective ego is right. And everybody else is false. Even this machine there is false. And this collective ego. Religion. Religion is for like collective false ego. And this doesn't only go to spiritual houses like Christianity, Hinduism, Hare Krishna sects, uh, Muslim, uh, all the religions all over the world that are separated. No, no. This goes also for political parties. Patriotism. Look, I am an American. I am a Slovenian. I will die for this country. This country is everything for me. I will live for this country. I'll kill for this country. Everybody outside, the national patriot consciousness is, I am of this nation, I am American, I am Slovenian, I will die for America, I will die for Slovenia, I will die for my nation, I will kill for my nation. And separated my nation from everyone else, collective false ego. And everyone who is part of another nation, another country, is observed like opposition, like competition, like something to worry about. I know when I was in past, uh, uh, somewhere uh, like this, uh, I won't say where, but uh, they, were, they thought I'm a terrorist. And everybody is a terrorist. I say, we are from Slovenia. We are a part of European Union. What is your, 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 what's your problem? No problem, everybody terrorist. Slovenia terrorist. What is Europe, Europe? Okay, okay. This national false ego, I am American, I'll die for America, I'll kill for America, and everybody outside is a terrorist. Hey, look at me. I am from Europe, you know. I look like Jesus Christ, I'm a terrorist. Yes, you are a terrorist, because everybody outside of our country is a terrorist. <laughs> I love comedy of life, I love comedy of life, I give you my word. So nationalism. False collective ego because everybody outside is separated and it's unity consciousness but false unity consciousness of one nation, one group against everyone else. Political parties, we are Democrats, we are liberals, 
We have the one and only truth. I will die for this party. I will kill for this party. I'll take everybody down, even my brother, if for this party, if he's not in my party. If he's a Democrat, I'm a liberal. Liberal! Again, collective. I am a love. I'm a human being. But collective ego. Collective false identity. Political parties. Young people who follow hip-hop culture. Rave culture. Uh, whatever the cultures are. Skate culture. Punk culture. Rock culture. Heavy metal culture. Again, they can fall in the trap into collective ego. Punks against hippies. We hate hippies. They are gay. They are gay. We are right. They are wrong. Gods also and metal against hippies. I'm giving the example. Hip hop against pop. We are the true subculture. We are the rappers. We are we are gangsters. Hey, I tell you, I listen to Boyzone. I listen to Boyzone, some beautiful songs, then I listen to Tupac. I love, love. I'm a rainbow. So, collective false ego. Youngsters have it. They identify with being a punk, being a rocker, being a heavy metal, being a, I don't know what, metalhead. Is this correct? Okay. Being a pop Poppy? Poppy? Poppy seed. <laughs> Being a poppy, poppy, little poppy. Pop, listening to pop. And they separate each other in that groups. And I seen even when I was going into high school, just because somebody is a metalhead and somebody was into hip hop culture and somebody was punk, somebody was the pop culture, separation. Separation into collective egos. So, every single identity, identification with any group in this world, separated from anyone else, thinking that you are part of that, identifying with it and separating everything else from it, it's not rainbow consciousness, it's yet unity consciousness, it's just one big collective ego. So here, let me tell you something else now. We have to be very careful. Because this collective ego can come into light workers. They say, no, 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 I'm a star seed. I'm not a light worker. Why are you telling me I'm a light worker? Yeah, here, you already started it. The separation. It can come between light workers and star seed and indigos and crystalline and rainbow and empaths. I see light workers sometimes. I'm a light worker. I'm not a star seed. It's same. What is this? You, I'm, you are but everything. Uh, they say, I could say, I'm a crystalline. I'm not an indigo. I'm a crystalline baby, just the very old one. <sniffs> On both levels, spiritual and this physical. I didn't came just yet. I was long here. I could separate myself. <sighs> and then separate themselves into groups. We are Pleiadian. And everybody outside doesn't really, it's not really part of us. We are Pleiadian and now only Pleiadians can understand me. And light workers can separate themselves in these groups. I'm a light worker, I'm a star seat, everybody else is against me. I'm not part of this, I'm part of being Pleiadian, I'm part of being indigo, or I'm an empath. Oh, this one can be really tough, really heavy, really painful. I am empath. Nobody understands me. I'm not part of these people. They don't feel me. They abuse me with their energies, but I feel them and I'm so careful about them. No, no, no. I will only be around empaths. Because only empaths understand me. Only empaths feel me. I separate myself. I'm a victim of everybody outside. Everybody try to hurt me with their energy. Separation. Collective false ego, even victim. I'm an empath. Everybody outside is hurting me. Enclosing yourself in the box of separation of an empath. Boxing yourself into light worker. Boxing yourself into healer. Boxing yourself into Pleiadian. Into star seat. 
separate yourself from everything outside of you. Boxing yourself into Arcturian, into healer. Hey, but what happens here also? We have to be careful because among spiritual awakening, ascension movement, so much of this collective false ego can be represented because people really identify themselves with this collective identifications. We are Pleiadian, we are empaths, we are indigo, we are starseed, we are not light workers. And then we do not even know that we are just not in a personal selfish ego being separated from everyone else, but we are in collective false ego, identifying ourselves only with Pleiadian, Starseed, with Empath, and we don't even understand that we are now part of separation of duality, part of colors separating each other and not uniting in a rainbow. Hmm. I love you all. I'm a rainbow. I don't mean I separate myself into a rainbow, rainbow child that I am. I am a rainbow. That's the beauty of a rainbow. And rainbows, we are beautiful. Because we understand, we know that we all are one. Oh, I'm a rainbow, but I, you are a rainbow. I'm part of the rainbow that we all are. And rainbow children that are coming now are bringing just this consciousness, a rainbow consciousness. They understand what I do. They may come from angelic realms, from ascended masters realm, from Pleiadian realm, from Syrian realm, but when they come here, they are not separating themselves into that separation. They will tell you what I'm telling you. I have my predispositions. I'm highly intuitive, empath, clairsentient, clairaudient. I'm ancient poet. I feel first sight the feeling. I feel most connected to Syrian. My roots. And I'm the source incarnation, so I'm the part of everything. My inception poem, the source, my higher self, the highest self of you and me. I'm a teacher. I'm connected to, mostly, I was growing up to Christianity and Hinduist tradition, Hinduism when I was growing up and then Buddhism and Sufism and so many things. <laughs> and I remember that I am, I have not only Syrian but Arcturian, Pleiadian, Liron and so many genetics, divine star genetics. So I feel one with every one of you. I'm connected with different spiritualities, different traditions. I feel one with Sufism. I feel one with Baalism. I feel one with Krishna. I feel one with Jesus. I feel one with Buddha. I feel one with the, 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 the way that the spirituality is presented in modern times. I watch, I love, I feel one with star seed, with light workers, and I'm a rainbow. And I do not try to separate myself. I'm not scientific really, I'm not in the mind, but I'm not separating from anyone myself. I'm just my own colors, my own unique, authentic colors that I am, that contribute to the beauty of the rainbow. And don't limit yourself. If I would limit myself, I have these powers that I have. I'm also a very powerful healer. But first of all, I'm a teacher and writer. Because I don't limit myself. I'm a rainbow. I'm open to be an empath and to be completely strong and nobody can move me. I'm open of being in the stillness and moving like crazy. I am an enlightened man who is just a normal man. And everybody loves me. Poor people in the city, children, priests here, young people, old people, people on the edge of destructions, people who are rising very much, lowest, highest, everybody loves me. 
because I'm one with everyone. I have no collective ego, I have collected identity. I have collective ego, divine ego, not false ego. To separate myself. I feel one even with Hare Krishna, with Christianity, with Hinduism, with Muslim, with everyone, but I feel one with the truth, the love that Masters brought and presented itself according to tradition, time and space and consciousness of people who received I feel one with that love. I don't separate myself into anything. That's why I have so many gifts. I feel everything. I clear see everything. I'm one with the word that I am. I'm a heck of a writer, heck of a teacher. I'm martial artist even. I'm a yogi. I can teach yoga. I'm a healer, ground worker, <sighs> poet. Some say, are you Buddhist? Some say, are you Hindu? Some say, are you Christian? No, I'm part of all this. Like I said. And my ge genetics, genes of this earth, everything is in my genes. I'm a human being. But well, fuck the collective identification. I'm an enlightened man. I could separate myself to be better than everyone else. But I can do better. I give you my word every day, at least one video like this to teach you the truth, that we all are one, that we all are rainbow, that we have to let go of this fucking collective ego identity. Because in the awakening and ascension movement, we tend to separate ourselves in all the nonsense. Separation and religions, we create religions out of being empath, out of being starseed, out of being light workers, out of being indigo, out of being Pleiadian. Creating religion is separate yourself and identify yourself with that consciousness, with that collective identification and then separating yourself from everyone else. But the true unity consciousness, not unity ego, false ego, true unity consciousness is to be in your own color. To nurture your own color, your own tradition, your own way, your own connection, your own gifts. And open yourself to everything. Not limit yourself, I'm this and that. And just knowing that you are just your unique, authentic, raw colors. That you are from the heart of the rainbow. And that you are one. If you are a Pleiadian, you are one with uh, a star. You are one with Syrian. You are one with, uh, with Liran. You are one with Arcturian. If you are empath, you are one with everyone else. Like I'm from the heart, I cannot. I'm allergic to the mind. I may remove people who project their mind and want to de debate it like this. But I'm one with them. If they don't violate me, I don't do anything. I feel one with everyone. I feel one with all different traditions. Different spiritual practices, spiritual disciplines, spiritual heritages, traditions. I feel one with the ancient spirituality and the modern spirituality, quantum spirituality of today, just explaining the ancient. No separation. I am a, a spiritual master, a teacher, but I'm not against science. I'm not being against scientists. I know that what I'm doing is science of the soul. And if the uh, material science comes from the science of the soul, like new scientists, new physics are doing it now. It is the manifestation of the divine creation, is the science of God, science of love that is to make humanity to see suffering and to live better and have better, more abundant life and more connected. This is the science. Science and spirituality have to be one. I'm not separating anything. Sp religion and spirituality are one. Just that re religion must understand that it is was on, in original spirituality of love. I love all religions, but I explain in the way to relate to that traditions, but in a way to present source consciousness, love consciousness, truth, which is one in every color. We can so easily see 
that we all are one. This is rainbow consciousness. Beauty of a rainbow is the perfect union, har harmony and balance between individual unique and authentic different colors that enhance each other and celebrate each, each other and complement each other and enhance each other, support each other to shine more. They do not separate in we are red, we are green, we are blue. We separate ourselves blue ray, golden ray, this ray, fuck that, we are the rainbow. And we so many times we don't know we are part of the collective false ego. Beauty of a rainbow is the union of different, unique, authentic, individual colors that complement each other, support each other, love each other and accept each other, celebrate each other for their colors. Like this. This is the true divine identity of you and me. And you remain in your color, you remain in your tradition, you remain in your way. Just you do not box it in and separate it from everything else. But you are the color of the rainbow. And like I'm a spiritual master, my work enhances and supports the work of scientists because they need, scientists need spiritual wisdom to create from the heart. If they create the new science from the heart, from the source, knowing spiritual themselves, being themselves, their higher self. They create creation of God. They create something that brings heaven to earth. So my work is complementary to the work of scientists, not against it. That's the unity consciousness. Colors support each other. And my identity is being human and being part of humanity, part of everyone. Even part of those that I do not agree and I would never work in this way, sending them unconditional love. Because if I oppose them, I separate myself from them. I give them power with my darkness, with my hate. But if I accept all the colors and I send love, all the separation and all these parts of the rainbow that are not in alignment are to heal and come back to the light. But if I'm separating myself even from what I don't like and hate it, attack it, I may think I'm fighting it, I may think I'm righteous, but I'm just projecting my darkness out and they are grateful. They are, they need this darkness to operate, to empower them so they can do these things that you hate. They get more separate and they can have more power. So those who hate the groups that are not in alignment and are in service to self consciousness, they actually think they attack and hate and that they do good. But they actually giving the power to the darkness because darkness feeds on the darkness and hate and negativity and attack. So these groups are grateful to you because you're keeping them alive keeping the separation in life. But when we are sending unconditional love to the groups that serve really separation in darkness, they cannot utilize this energy. They cannot do anything with this energy. They cannot get power from this energy. They only get defeated and weakened by this energy. Unconditional love. You be as you are, I will spread love, I send you unconditional love. And this defeats them because they need negativity and darkness for their work to be supported. And when you get this, you even love your enemies because they are not your enemies. They just do not realize they are part of the rainbow. They are your friends and now they are defeated in your light. So we have to stop all kinds of collective false identity. It's easy to see you are in false ego, you are in false ego. But when we are in collective false ego, in religion, in some group, even in some spiritual separation, like light workers love to separate themselves, we don't even know. We think our ego is now dead. We live just for that. That sect, that separation. We live just for that box and we separate ourselves from everyone else. It's just collective, huge ego. Not just one ego, but just group of people who 
identify themselves with that identification, but then instead of becoming the rainbow and one with everyone else, they separate themselves from everyone else. Being a victim of everybody else, being better of everyone else, having the only truth, or just separate, we don't, we are. Pleiadian, we don't want to have anything with anyone else. We are empaths, nobody else understands us, we, are, we will separate ourselves. If you know what I mean, like this. We have to stop. We are all one, we are part of the rainbow, we are humanity. We all are in human form, regardless if you are a Pleiadian starseed, regardless if you are Jesus Christ yourself, regardless if you are Mary Magdalene and Krishna, if you are Allah, whatever you are, you are a human being. If you are alien, I am alien too. But here we all are in human bodies. And we can, call, with no ego, identify it with humanity, with source, with being God that I am, the source of the rainbow. And we are our own identic color, authentic, unique color, practicing our way, connecting in the way of our color, expressing the way that we are, and being in our true divine nature, in our true colors. But we are one with a rainbow and all the colors. We support the colors, we enhance the colors, celebrate and complement. And we are the rainbow. So, my beloved rainbow children, this is what I wanted to share today with I and I. I love you. You better believe it, because it's true. If you don't, go away, because if you don't feel it, this is not for you. Only if you feel the word that I am, word that I am for you. No one else. Rainbow world. Thank you for being part of my journey. Stay strong. Energies are very intense. And we are in this together. We are the rainbow. We are different. But if we can stop opposing, violating each other, trying to be right, trying to prove wrong and separating each other, we can all be different and unique in our true colors, but be part, be one rainbow that we are. Unity consciousness, collective identity, no ego, no collective ego. Namaste. Oh, and... If anybody would love to support my rainbow art of the world that I am from the heart, I'm so grateful for every single coin. Because without you, I would not be able to do anything of my work. This is my purpose, what Source has sent me on earth to give you the world that I am, to teach, to write. And I'm so grateful, first of all, because Source shows me that this is what I should do and this is my true work. And because you can see my work and without being forced from the heart, you offer me a gift, support for what you receive freely from my heart. In giving we receive freely i give you the word for free it's worth gold it's worth millions god knows and i only receive your love if anybody wants to support i'm so grateful i appreciate it so much without you i would not be able to give one word that i am and if there's any spiritual gold in my heart goes to you i'll never forget you because I know I am to pop in my right time. Because I have what I need. What I have to have to pop. But until Source knows I have to get stronger and become better, greater word that I am. And I love you. And thank you. If there's any enlightenment in me, it goes to you. And I add white light source healing session on your divine being. I purify your energies. I balance your energies. I fill you up with white light. This is what I do for every donation. This is what I do. You will feel better. It comes like a surprise beyond time and space. I don't need these things. Appointment. Surprise. Love. I do it because I say, but your faith can do miracles. Okay, beloved angels, I love you. Thank you for listening another video with me. If you heard and felt, thank you from the heart. I love you and see you.
in this now again. Poor Namaste. I love you. Stay strong. We are a rainbow. We are one identity. And this is love. Mwah.